burners and booms. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to understand the different atomization systems, circuits and pilot ignition, describe the various burners types, identify burners most important technical characteristics, describe the basic booms functions, identify and select the different types of booms, and state the basic goals of rigging up booms in term of safety. Burners The burners are used to dispose of the oil at the surface during a well test operation. Therefore, avoid oil storage and pollution problems. It limits heat radiation on the rig by installing them on long booms that keep them at a safe distance from the rig. The principle of the burners consists on the atomization of well effluent which result in reduction in fine droplets. The burners needs propane for pilot's light, electricity for lodge boxes or spark plug, dedicated air compressors, do not use rig air, and water is mainly required to prevent heat radiation. The burners are classified by number of combustion heads, which determines the maximum oil flow rate. The oil combustion is achieved with oil atomizers. The air and the oil are combined in the atomizer before ignition by the pilots. There are different types of nozzles, 11 mm for oil nozzle and 22 mm for air nozzle. Burners features. Burners are usually equipped with water ring for better combustion. Hearth is used to guide the air. Pilot light to lit the burner. Ball valves on air and oil lines to select the number of heads to be used. Air and oil check valves to prevent air from passing into the oil line and vice versa. Swivel joint to allow pivoting position of the burner. The gas pilot light is located below the atomizer. It is a small propane burner with spark plug, lit by sending high voltage from a remote control box or lodge box. The swivel joint of the burner act as a pivot to support the whole burner. It allows the burner to be positioned up to 75 degrees on either side of the horizontal axis. Burner's air supply. Never use rig air supply to supply the burner. Always use dedicated air compressors with enough air capacity. Generally two compressors are used as backups for continuous burning operation. A check valve is mounted on the airline, upstream the atomizer, to prevent the oil or effluent from entering into the airline and compressor's engine. Burner's oil circuit. A check valve is mounted on the oil line, upstream the atomizer, to prevent the air passing from the atomizer into the oil line. A typical situation in which this might occur is during the startup procedure of the burner, because air is sent to the atomizers before the oil is sent. Burner equipment. Light burner. Example the spit fire. It is a single-headed burner used for general service. Its capacity is 4,000 barrel of oil per day at 300 PSI. High efficiency burner. Example, the Green Dragon. It is a three-headed burner used for general or H2S service. Its maximum capacity is 7,000 barrel of oil per day at 300 PSI with three heads used. High efficiency burner. Example, the Sea Dragon. It is a four-headed burner, used for general or H2S service. Its maximum capacity is 9,000 barrel of oil per day at 300 PSI with four heads used. Mud burner. It is a three-headed burner. The top head is for oil mix and the two bottom heads are for diesel. It is used for general or H2S service. Its maximum capacity is 5,000 barrel per day of mud, diesel, or oil. High efficiency clean burner. Example the evergreen or sunflower. It is a single headed burner with 12 nozzles. It is used for general or H2S service. Its maximum capacity is 15,000 barrel of oil per day at 360 psi. The evergreen burner is the most efficient clean burner. It does not require water injection into the flame. However, it requires heavy duty, 
85 feet booms, due to significant heat radiation generated by the this type of burner. Booms The burner is mounted on a boom to keep it away from the rig in order to reduce heat radiation and the risk of fire. Heat radiation is also controlled with water curtains on the boom. The boom provides gas flare pipe and piping to supply air, water, oil, and propane. Two booms are usually installed on opposite sides of a drilling rig for safe burning in changing winds. The booms exists in 60 feet or 85 feet lengths. There are two types of structures available. The U-shaped or the V-shaped. For the installation and rig up of the boom, the following equipment are required. The king post, the base plate, the vertical guy lines, and the horizontal guy lines. The boom is mounted on the rig with a rotating base plate to allow horizontal and vertical movements. Horizontal guy lines are used to orient the boom horizontally. The vertical guy lines, fixed to the king post or to the rig structure, are used to support the boom. Boom selection. A 60 feet boom may be used for a flow rate up to 10,000 barrel of oil per day. An 85 feet boom may be used for a flow rate more than 10,000 barrel of oil per day. A standard U-shaped boom is equipped with only one gas flare line. A heavy duty V-shaped boom is equipped with two gas flare lines. Boom rig up. The boom is lifted with the crane. Make sure the lifting arm is secured with locking pin. The fish plate has to be behind the lifting arm to be able to attach the top guy line. Make sure to use tag lines during the lifting operation. Connect the boom to the welded base plate with swivel to allow horizontal and vertical movements. Insert the pin in the hole indicated at both sides of the boom and secure it with safety pins. Attach the vertical or top guy line to the king post to support the boom weight. The boom axis should be placed slightly above the horizontal axis. Attach the horizontal or side guy lines to their attachment point on the rig structure and orient the boom horizontally. Boom hang off geometry. In order to achieve a safe and correct hang off, the distance A on the first picture should be at least equal to 22 feet or 7.5 meters, the angle should be at least equal to 25 degree, and the upper attachment point must be in line vertically to the base plate. On the second and third picture, the upper attachment point is not in line vertically with the base plate, which create a risk for the boom assembly to fall. Burners and Boom Safety During the burners and booms installation, the following safety aspects must be taken into consideration. Standby boat is in constant contact with radio. Weather condition to be taken into consideration. Preferably this operation is carried out by daylight. Well test supervisor to have a work permit in place. Everybody working on the boom must wear a life vest. It is not compulsory to be attached with a safety harness. Restrict the number of personnel on boom to a maximum of two people. Thank you for your attention. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel in order to help us produce more content like this one. See you in a next video presentation.